Hello and welcome. I am the Soon Tide Dip and Shoe Guy, and this is the 27th video of group number 12 Dry Snuff Nasal Playlist. All groupings are on the one playlist. If you would like to make a small one time donation for content or towards content such as this, there is always a PayPal link in the description. I thank you for your consideration. So for this one, we will be looking at another Rosinski product. And this is San Sousi, which the Germans seem to be having a habit of doing this to me lately. Sort of has me thrown as to what, okay. That's French, number one, <laughs> all right. It's San Sousi, okay. S-A-N-S on the end, I know the S is silent. It is French. At the same time, it is, although separated into two parts, when put together, it is a Prussian palace that was frequented by Frederick the Great, which I sort of think may be what the reference is to, sort of tongue-in-cheek. Anyway, it is in a 10-gram sachet. I have always heard good things about this product, although I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's it's always gotten positive reviews. I have taken note of that. So we're going to take it over the desk, take a closer look at the packaging and the product inside, and then we will bring it back up top, and I will let you know what I think. Back in a moment. Okay, and here we are. So as I said, this is a 10 gram sachet. It is a refill pouch. It is basically sort of cardboard paper on the outside. It is foil on the inner. There is a Ziploc right there. This one feels like it's engaged. They always are, to the best of my knowledge. You have two tear tabs. I will be using scissors. Uh, this is just a sticker with a pre-printed German warning label. These are the same stickers that they would sell to mark the jars that they had sold, the uh, very dark blue glass jars. Going to the back, another German warning. You have their website up top. Last I checked, although they were no longer selling tobacco as stipulated by the new EU regulations, they were still send, uh, selling jars and the sticker that you saw on the front or stickers depending on the product. Uh, I am not sure. I have not been over there for a few weeks. It is denoted as 10 grams and it is denoted as production in January of this year, 2024. All right. As I said, I am going to cut this and I cut a lot lower. I don't know if you can see the bump there. It's right about there going across. That is the opening. These are hard to deal with. Yes. Um, and I never quite understood why, although I did notice that it was always put forth as a refill pouch, sachet. And then much late to the game, I found out that they actually sold snuff jars. So that is it cut off. And there we go. And wow, that is looking not what I expected. I was expecting something darker, but that is looking, even in person, pretty, pretty light, almost golden. Let me uh, bring it down a little farther. We will see what's going on there. It's, it's like a orange ish gold color uh, in person it's even lighter than you're seeing here so you have their standard for the company burly flower base with what looks like a coarser cut laid in on top but you know what the way this stuff is looking the color of it, I'm wondering if this is even burly now. Um, I'm wondering if they, they switched up the base. Burly does not usually come off like that. But I guess 
we will find out more when I bring this back up top. Back in a moment. Okay, so here we are, and if it seems like there's more of a jump there, that is because this is a new video. I went to check to see what the base content of this product was, and I lost my pause on the video where I showed this opening up. So hopefully, I come up with some video editing skills in a hurry because obviously the product is already opened. So smell off the bag. Wow, that actually smells really good. So it's coming off as lemon. Um, and there might be some sort of mentholization there. Let me, uh, let me get some of this out on the hand. I'm really quite taken with the color of this stuff. I, I don't know why that makes such a impression on me at the moment, but it does. So yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's coming off as lemon. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just pinch. Okay, um, the smell of the stuff sniffing the product without inhaling it, I actually like more than the scent once you do inhale it. That said, it's not bad, it is lemon, which is, I mean, citrus is a running theme in a lot of nasal snuff from out of Europe, but it's usually, for the majority of them anyway, the, the standard is bergamot oil. And this is not, this is definitely lemon. There is no mistaking it. Uh, the nicotine seems very present, although I do not believe this is a high nicotine product. It's noticeable though. Fairly easy to take. There was a little bit of a burn on the first uptick. And then I thought I was maybe going to sneeze, but that would not seem to be the case. There seems like there's a whisper of menthol there. Seems to me, which may be aiding in the taking of this. It's really, really lemon forward. I'm, I'm a little surprised. Like, this stuff may be the color it is because they've ground lemons down. <laughs> like, lemon rinds and put it in here. Um, I, no, I'm kidding. Maybe. I don't, I don't think. It's very interesting because it's really familiar, but at the same time, sort of outside the norm as far as nasal snuff products go. Am I saying this is the only lemonade? No, no, I'm not. And the moment I even suggest that, somebody's going to pop up in the comments. Well, actually, I'm not. Can I think of one off the top of my head? Uh, Toke has a citrus something, but... So, ease of use, fairly good. The reason I keep pinching these things is because I'm pinching very, very small amounts, all right? I'm not, I'm not even doing, like, bumps, all right? I'm very small amounts, so that is the reason as of late in the more... The re nasal stuff reviews over the last few months, that's why you see me doing it as much as I, I do. Nicotine's definitely there. Definitely there. Um, the lemon is very present. When I say lemon, do not read into that. Something along the lines of skull citrus. It, it's not that, okay? Um, it's interesting. I'm trying to get the sachet to open. It's interesting. The, the, the thing I'm taking with the most, to tell you the truth, I, I hate to keep going back to it, but it is the color. So, 
there's that. Uh, nicotine is very ple uh, pleasant and present. Um, ease of use. It's fairly easy to use. I like the scent. I'm not really picking too much up after. All I'm picking up is the lemon and the fact that it may have a little bit of menthol in it. Now, when I say a little bit of menthol, I'm not talking like, you know, I'm talking a little. I'm not talking like a Polish product level of menthol. There's not a whole lot of tobacco scent. There is maybe a little bit of... It's not smoky. It's more like wood. And when I say that, do not read into that redwood snuff. Okay? No skull citrus, no redwood snuff. It's neither of those things. Thank God. Anyway, it, it, it's all right by me. It's not something scent-wise I gravitate normally to or, or go out of the way for my you know own personal use. However, I find it sort of interesting and refreshing. And in a way, it is sort of refreshing. The, 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 the lemon light menthol is sort of refreshing. There's a woodiness to it in the background, but it's not, it's not something that's going to stick out to you, especially after the lemon. The, the, the lemon is sort of uh, not overpowering it, but sort of takes the show, takes the attention. So, Sansofsi from Rosinski Snuff. I am the Suntai Dipachu guy. I do thank you for watching. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves and God bless. And now I'm off to see if I can splice these two videos.